One of you watching this video will be winning $100. Now, how do you win this money? Let me explain. Hello, my name is Andrew Parker, aka Africa Andrew, aka Ophelia, aka Spider-Man, and I am a magician who creates YouTube videos, and I make escape rooms and scavenger hunts for my friends. But for this video, I have created an interactive transmedia scavenger hunt that you can play online. This is a fun and free game with clues that you have to figure out to continue to the next step. Once you complete the last task and finish the game, you are entered to win $100. Now, I'm only taking the first 100 people that finish the game, but I don't think that's gonna be much of a problem because I don't expect half that many people to actually finish the game. Also since this isn't a giveaway where all you have to do is like like the video and and post a comment it'll it'll probably have less people actually finish the entire thing so if it was just a comment i feel like you know hundreds of people could easily do that not take a lot of time but if you actually persevere and finish all the clues then you probably have a higher chance of winning because not everyone's going to do that so i highly encourage you to play along it'll be fun so how do you actually play and enter to win well i'm going to tell you that the first clue is actually this video you are watching right now so watch it till the end watch it all the way through and try to figure out that clue but we're going to come back to that first step the first thing you got to do is the obvious stuff you got to subscribe you got to turn on the post notifications and you got to follow me on instagram now the post notifications are actually pretty beneficial to you in the future because in the future, I'd like to do more of these with bigger, better prizes. Uh, there are two things that I really enjoy. I really enjoy like creating clues for escape rooms and scavenger hunts. I just really enjoy that. Maybe that makes me a psychopath. I don't know. But the second thing I really enjoy is creating content for you guys and uh, interacting with y'all. So if I take those two things together, which is what I'm doing in this video, creating clues and interacting with you guys and putting them together, that's just awesome. So in the future, I'd like to do more of these, but with bigger, better prizes. So turn on those post notifications, and in the future, you'll know when the next competition starts, and some of them might be time sensitive, so the quicker you know, the better. Two more things, you gotta share this video. You gotta either put it on Instagram, Twitter, text it to a friend, or literally just show someone in person, something like that, you gotta share it. If you have any questions about any of this, also you can comment down below or DM me on Instagram. And finally, you have to figure out the first clue, which will lead you to the next clue, and so on and so forth. So the first clue, like I said, is this video, so keep watching, we're gonna get into it. Here we go. Hello. Hi, I wrote my name at the top. Told me, they, uh, okay, so they have no <laughs> idea what's going on. They are just helping you guys, and also they can play along. They're playing along in this scavenger hunt for $100, so you have to compete against them, but they don't know anything of what's going on, do you? I just know- <laughs> Haley looks very confused, obviously. I just know that I can get a hundred bucks, and you know, that's yeah. good enough for me. Yep. You just gotta play along. Y'all are helping create the first clue of this game. I'll be asking you trivia questions. Some of it will be Disney, some of it will just be basic knowledge. You're gonna write down what you think the answer is and flip it around. It doesn't matter who wins. Obviously, we'll have a one. Yes. Do we have to keep all our answers down? Is it gonna be like a no. code? No. Okay. I'll be putting it up on the screen so they can see it. And they don't have an advantage because they don't get to play until the video is posted because they won't get to see the clue part of what they're doing right now until the video which comes out at 3.30 today. So y'all are just answering questions and you don't know what that's doing on screen. So what if we just what? don't answer the questions? I'm so confused. I don't think y'all need choices for this, but I will be giving you choices if y'all need it, okay? Who is the youngest Disney princess? This is the first person who gets it? It doesn't, no, it's not, it's not. Oh, oh do, we show, do we show? Sure. Oh. Snow White is correct. Y'all can both give yourself a point. How many daughters does King Triton have in The Little Mermaid? She knows all their names, I have no idea. Would you like choices? If you do not want, I'll give, I'll give double points to someone if they get it without the choices, but if you want the choices, just wait and I'll give them to you. So no, no choices. Ready? Three, two, one, flip. Seven is correct. <laughs> Non-Disney question. Oh shit. Ooh, yeah, I know. <laughs> On a farm, oh, no. a kid is a baby what? Did you see her? No. That is correct. One point. All right, y'all, three for three. I don't know. Ah! Oh. I'm so glad I'm wearing a black, black shirt. Black. How many flowers are in the design stamped on each side of an Oreo? Options. A, six, B, 12, C, 14, D, 16. There are flowers on an Oreo? Yes. Yeah. Flip. The answer is 12. One point, Joanna. What is the name of Marlon's wife in Finding Nemo? I do have options if you need them. Um, I want options. Okay. A. Jewel. B. Nessie. C. Coral. D. Crystal. Three, two, one, flip. Coral is correct. Haley gets two. Joanna gets one. Who is Princess Aurora's prince? I'll tell you when to flip. Y'all done? No, no choices? Flip. Philip is correct. 
How many notes are in between high C and low C? You want choices or I'm gonna start counting down? I was gonna put that back there as a choir friendly beta. Yeah. You want choices? No. No? Alright, flip. A is correct. Okay, that's what I was gonna do anyway. I was just like, uh, uh. One point each. Who played Neo in The Matrix? A, Matt Damon, B, Tom Cruise, C, Kiefer Sutherland, D, Keanu Reeves. Three, two, one, go. Keanu Reeves is correct. Two points for Haley. I think she just pulled ahead. Question number nine. Oh yeah, there's only two left actually for y'all. For us? Okay. Mm -hmm. Number nine. What time did the ball start in Cinderella? A, 8 p.m., B, 9 p.m., C, 10 p.m., D, 11 p.m. Ready? Three, two, one, go. It was 8 p.m. Dang it, I no was point. Right. <sighs> Name the director of the Lord of the Rings movies. A, Steven Spielberg, B, Martin Scorsese, C, David Fincher, D, Peter Jackson. Oh. Flip, flip, flip. <laughs> Martin Scorsese, no. Peter Jackson is correct. Woo! No. Good job. Y'all did, uh, y'all did pretty good. All right, you can go. Do we have to remember these? No, no. They're gonna be in the video. Wait, is this an ongoing thing? Let's cut the camera. <laughs> And that's the end of this video. If you're still watching and still trying to figure it out, good luck. Maybe you're confused, maybe you're not, maybe you're already onto me. Either way, thank you for watching. There is one more part of this video, of this first clue, and it is one more multiple choice question. Here you go.